Hi, my name is Jure Korber. Wow, that's nice looking quad racer. The canopy must be injection molded, right? But it's not, it's 3D printed. Today, I'm going to show you how to make perfect 3D printed part surface. As you know, 3D printing, especially the FDM type, is leaving rough and edgy surfaces on 3D printed parts. That's why I've developed a technique how to transform this surface into a smooth and shiny one, like the one on my Stinger quad. So, we will start with 3D printed parts. They can be made out of any printing material except the flexible ones. For this job we will need sandpaper, spray filler, spray paint and some water. The process begins with quite rough sandpaper. Water is there to make things go easier. Be sure to get most of the edges out as best as you can. After sanding, the surface should be smooth and even. Clean the part in fresh water and wipe it with the paper towel. Make sure to get all the particles out and that it is completely dry before the next step. In the next step we will use the spray filler to fill all the small holes. You want to mount the part in process to some kind of stick so you can rotate it while spraying. This will keep your hands clean and part evenly coated. Again, make sure the part is dry and clean. Prepare the filler and start spraying in long, smooth strokes. Get all the corners, but do not apply too much filler in too short time or it can start dripping. Take a few minutes before applying the next layer. Apply multiple layers if you skipped the initial sanding or if you didn't sand the surface too well. Allow few hours for filler to dry completely. You should end up with part that has better finish, but you can still see some of the printing lines. If you think that's already looking good, you can skip the next step, but for me that's not smooth enough and I also want to make this canopy as light as possible. That's why I will send down filler to get even better finish and less weight. For this I use finer sandpaper and try to inspect and smooth all the surfaces. Now I will use even finer sandpaper just to finish. Now it's good time to check all the angles, surface should be really smooth without any dents or scratches. Now change the water or use tap water to rinse and clean the part. Wipe the part with paper towel and dry it before painting. Now the surface is really nice and smooth. At that point you can decide for any color, matte or glossy finish or even metallic. I've decided for light blue acrylic paint. Now prepare the spray can and start applying color. Be sure to follow instructions on the spray paint. Apply very thin even layers and wait a few minutes before applying a new layer. Do not apply too much paint or it will drip and you will have bad finish. You can of course then repair it by sanding it again but that's a lot of extra work. Do not apply too much paint in the same spot and be sure to get all the details. Before applying the very last layer, wait at least for a few minutes Last layer can be a bit thicker, so the droplets form a smooth surface, which will result in mirror finish when using glossy paint without polishing process. Wait at least 24 hours before touching the finished part. Even if paint may look dry, it can be still soft inside and you will leave fingerprints all over the piece. We now have professionally looking product that looks like it was made with injection molding. Imagine how cool your next 3D printed part may look like using this technique. Paint also adds some chemical resistance and some extra strength to the piece. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you like my finishing technique. Please leave any question or feedback in the comment section below.